pick a question. Bianca Odumegu-Juku, how can women be encouraged to participate more in politics? Well, education is key. And uh, being able to engage, especially uh, in my experience, you can't go into it without a serious engagement with the grassroots. And it's, it's an amazing experience. Everybody seems to wonder what might happen in 2019. What are your thoughts about 2019 elections? Well, I'm wondering like everybody else. <laughs> We are waiting to see what that brings. Of course, uh, there are likely to be a few surprises here and there. Um, but I, I believe that Nigerians, you know, were, were, um, were unshockable. There was, you know, whatever there was, it is there, there was that, a uh, recent outburst of yours, you know, um, regarding elections or, you know, in, in the party recently. Outburst? Was Me? it? <laughs> Moi? <laughs> no, I don't think there was. I was just uh, essentially uh, trying to get a point across that, uh, you know, there have to be uh, certain codes of conduct uh, in, in, in engagement um, in certain processes, uh, especially processes that are internal to the party itself. Where were you when you heard of the death of Odumeko Ujuku and how did you react? Right there with him, holding his hand. Um, I think um, that that's probably one um, of the most traumatic experiences of my life um, because I, I didn't believe actually you, when you have lived with a, a strong man all your life, you, you somehow um, subconsciously tend to think that they're invincible. So um, watching him die was, was one of the most traumatic experiences of my life. I'm sure you miss him a lot. Yes. It hasn't been easy coping without him, has it? I guess uh, for most widows, uh, this isn't an experience that is a cakewalk. Is that the end of marriage for you? Um, I've always said that um, uh, I was lucky enough, one of those very few women lucky enough to uh, have been married to a man who um, uh, who gave me um, many, many years of happiness and fulfillment. And of course, uh, most importantly, um, exceptional children. So... Uh, How old are they now? Um, my eldest... Uh, well, uh, you know I have a set of twins. And then a younger one. So the twins are 20 now, yes. And one of them just graduated recently, my daughter. And then um, uh, my last child, who is um, a boy, is uh, still in university. So they're all in university at this time. What do you think he would have thought of Namdekano if he were alive today? Well, um, it, he's very democratic in nature, actually. I, 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 in hazarding a guess, I imagine he probably would have wanted to engage with him and discuss with him and perhaps uh, share a few of his own experiences with him and, um, and leave him to, to yeah. make up his mind. How are you coping, you know, with family challenges that always come with, you know, the demise of... Um, a loved one like that. Mm. Well, you know, you have to straddle two roles. You, you have to be both mother and father. What about the extended family? Mm. Uh, have you had any issues, problems, you know, dealing with his demise? Yes, I think most widows would probably uh, uh, 
give the same sort of answer that I'm giving now. It's not an enviable position because uh, so much changes overnight and um, you're, you're, you're having to cope with you know, so many circumstances that you never ever imagined would arise. But that's why I am a strong advocate for women getting an education. It's very, very important. It makes you aware of your rights. It gives you a certain confidence regarding uh, uh, what you need to do and how best to, to safeguard um, mm. the patrimony of your children. And um, I believe that uh, most times, you know, the, 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 it's just that people are not able to reach amicable conclusions and people of course have different uh, interests and each uh, group is possessive of their own interests um, but it, 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 it's not uh, it comes with the territory of being a widow and it comes with the territory I think of being faced with uh, a new set of realities. How, how do you feel for most widows in Nigeria? who perhaps are not even in a privileged or advantaged position as you? It's, it's, it's a harrowing experience for most widows, particularly those widows uh, with no education. And um, that's why uh, I commend a lot of the non-governmental organizations that are there to assist widows, a lot of the advocacy groups that are there to uh, um, enforce their rights and so forth. And um, I think that a lot more has to be done, actually. I see that you, are, you also have an NGO. Yes, Hope House. Yes. Trust House? Hope House. Hope House. Yes. What is it about? Well, it's a, an NGO that's centered principally around the rehabilitation of juvenile offenders, um, usually when they're apprehended and uh, taken into custody and so forth. At the time they're released from custody, they're totally lost. They, they, have, they don't know where to go. They, they have no education, they have no skills a lot of the time. And you know, to, to engage in a trade or something that will um, um, ensure that they have some kind of a livelihood. So what we try to do is to pro pro provide a platform and provide um, um, skills. Uh, those that have the possibility of going into ICT and those that want to learn a trade such as uh, carpentry, masonry, painting, etc., and um, those that just want to do other stuff. So what will be the five most important items you take along on this trip? Water would be one of them. And of course, a Bible and a blanket. Well, hopefully, uh, it won't be too cold. Um, my phone, because <laughs> that might help. And um, uh, what would the fifth one be? My toothbrush. Uh, well, Hopefully, uh, well, you can use the marine water. <laughs> that, that, could, that would act as the paste. I cannot thank you enough for affording us your time on this program. And so good to see you after so many years, you know, being one of the veterans of, of, of the, the, the broadcasting industry. And you haven't changed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I've aged. Oh, that's what everybody would say, but you haven't changed much. Oh, Believe wow. me. Okay, if you say that. <laughs> that's how it's been with my guest on the program this week, Ambassador Bianca Odumego Ojuku. On the program, The Chat, I am Manny. See you next time. The Chat is produced by Channels Television. You can watch it again online. Just visit our social media platforms. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Mm -hmm.